Hello and welcome. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Elgato to OBS to sync your audio from your game and your voice to your camera and obviously your game, your sound of your game. And uh, hopefully it all works out fine. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up, but uh, yeah, I, I was having a lot of problems trying to sort this out so. Hopefully I can get this sorted now and do this for you and show you how to do it So don't forget if you if this video helps don't forget to give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe and tune into some of my future streams uh, So let's get started right first Obviously, I've got me on gato up uh, me OBS up and I've got me on gato here Now I've got me on gato set up with my camera and my game I don't have my commentary on me on gato. I don't need that switched on and my game audio it should if I move pick up my game audio which is all in sync with me Elgato now what you need to do is I've got my first scene set up if you want to right click and add scene on there you can do but and obviously I've got my display captured here just to show you at the minute in time so it add on your sources now a lot of people well I used to video capture but it's not always the best way so you want a window capture and then you want to add game capture HD I'm going to turn off my cursor for that I mean I've got it on my desktop one showing you what I'm doing but my cursor will be turned off for this so then you've got this here so you just want to fit it to your, fit it to your screen for now for this so it's just shorten it down make it a bit smaller and then what you want to do is you right click on it and you want to uh, <coughs> transform and edit transform and from there you've got your crop crop left right top and bottom so if you crop my left side you'll see the left side going in you want to crop that all the way up, up to your in line with the Elgato screen same with the top now these two are easy they're not very big so once you've done that And you've got that cropped you crop click on your right and you want to just click 250 and that cuts it down a lot so what I'll do is click 270 cut it down even more 290 so let's put it to 300 nope that's 3000 that's 300 and when obviously you, when you ain't got far to go just click the top the top cursor button and it'll pull it in for you, rest it where <coughs> once we get there and we're nearly there, nearly there right so that's that done that is. Right, and then same with the bottom that's 442, I don't think you need 442 so we'll just put Four forty-four zero. Yeah, that cuts it down way too much. Put three fifty. No, oh, three forty. Just for sake of it, too much. Three hundred. Too much. <laughs> two hundred. That's two thousand and three. Yeah, two hundred three. Right. You want to pull the rest of that up. I'm just going to close that off now and just double check on my size. Now I need to take the bottom up a little bit more and bring the writing a little bit more. So edit transform. Uh, yeah, the writing a little bit and pull the bottom up a bit more. Right, that's that done. So you close that <coughs> and right click on it transform fit to screen and there you have it there there you set up with your with me Elgato on me OBS now there will be a sound delay on the usually is anyway and to fix this which I'm not going to do just yet but I will show you how you record your, game, your video your game or whatever you're doing and then you click on mixer See, at minute, all I've got set up here is my desktop audio 
and my mic audio that is all coming from the Elgato it, I mean, obviously it's picking up my mic through my OBS and the desktop audio is coming through the Elgato but the OBS will be there will be a, a sync that you need to do because obviously my mouth will be moving through my Elgato but it's picking up my voice through the OBS so there's a, there will be a delay there and to fix like I say to fix this you go into your mixer which is there and then you've got your desktop audio and your mic audio now most people set this to 1500 but it, it all depends on how much you're out so you want to set these to whatever you need to set them to I'll just set them to 1500 for now and I'd see what it does it, um, hopefully that'll be all right now like I say it all depends on you when when you record and test and you adjust it accordingly now I don't know if I turn on my yeah turn on my I don't know no there's nothing coming through that yet now but that's pretty much what you have to do to do that for your syncing of your uh, game and your chat which is pretty simple to be fair um, then you want to add everything else you need to add such as if you've got subscription notifications or anything else that it comes on you want to go to your browser source obviously you click on your browser pull up any sources that you have and you can put in web pages and anything like that oh, clicked off there go back up here and uh, yeah you can put in see I'd add such as a donation goal or subscription alerts or one thing I do add is stream warrior and they all get added stream warrior you have to add a window capture but browser sources you add there and if you click on browser source click OK and then you input your browser source there click OK and as you can see on my screen it's brought up the OBS and you adjust that obviously browser sources come up as transparent so that's fine I just delete that don't need that but yeah then you play somewhere you want but it's pretty, it's pretty simple as that the biggest problem I had was with syncing I didn't know how to sync it and it took me bloody ages to figure it out so I thought I'd just do this quick video now I set mine up and now I run my streams and I will get everything in sync really it's pretty simple to be fair so hopefully that's all work if that all works fine for you and if it does don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my streams. I'll uh, catch you later.